guys, it's Trish here from Dish Kitty Studio and welcome to week four of my Dish Does Ross project. Um, I just, some business from last week, uh, which was week three. Um, I do have some photographs from my friend Stephanie that I want to share with you. Just to remind you, this was the card from last week. It says it's life, it's interesting, it's fun. And Stephanie took these beautiful photos. So um, thank you so much, Stephanie. I think those are so cute. I love them. They're perfect for the theme too. So um, that's it. I hope you enjoy seeing uh, my project for this week. I think they turned out really cool and it was a lot of fun. So I will see you. Be sure to watch um, all the way through to the end of the video and you can see me draw the card for next week, which will be week five. Thanks so much for joining me. Be sure to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more and keep track. Thanks again. Hello. Are we ready for some Bob Ross project happenings? Okay. It is week four. Uh, this is the card. It says, now then, let's wash the old brush. That's the fun part of this whole technique. Okay. Shake off the excess and just beat the devil out of it. So I thought about this card and I thought about cleaning off your brush and what sort of came to me was the thought of like paint splatters and what a mess it would make when you're washing off your brush. So, and beating the devil out of it, of course. So what I kind of thought about was um, making some alcohol ink coasters. So I have done this before, but I did it with actual alcohol inks. Um, like I did the Tim Holtz alcohol inks with alcohol on coasters. But I know that you can also do this technique with Sharpies, so I've heard. I've never done it. This will be my very first time. Um, but these are the Sharpies that I picked out. I wanted these to be really, really bright. So I chose these four colors in particular because I wanted them to be like neon. So these are the Sharpie colors I chose. Um, I've got coasters, of course. I would like to make, these are just plain coasters. You can buy these at any hardware store. They're really inexpensive. Uh, and I've got five. I'm hoping for a set of four, so that only leaves me one dud. Let's hope that's all we need. Um, I've also got I've got some alcohol, and this is 91%, which I'm hoping will work. I heard you're supposed to use 99%, but I couldn't find it, so we're doing 91. I've got an eyedropper to drip the alcohol on, and I also have this high gloss acrylic clear spray to finish them with. So I may also, depending on how they turn out, I may do before I spray them like maybe some acrylic paint on the edges just to give them a finished look. I'm not sure yet, but step one is gonna be to color these babies with Sharpies. So, well, actually that's not true. I'm already lying. Step one is to just kind of wipe them off and make sure they're not dusty. So step one is complete. Ah! Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and color these with the Sharpies. Um, as usual, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm probably gonna speed this up. Um, I kind of want to try to make some shapes, even though I know they won't be super visible when once the alcohol goes on, but I think I'm going to try that. So here we go. As usual, no idea what I'm doing. Let's see what happens.
Okay, so um, I've got my coasters done, and I'm going to go ahead and try dripping some alcohol on these babies and see what happens. I hope it's cool. We'll see. I'm kind of excited, kind of nervous. All right, stick my eyedropper in. All right, so I'm starting with this first one, and we'll see. Oh, it's already like doing some really cool things here. Not sure. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, well my designs are not gonna stay put, but oh my gosh, I'm okay with that because this is freaking cool. Alright. Oh my gosh. It's really pretty. Um, it's nothing like what I drew on there, but I kind of love it. Alright, I'm going to put this one aside so it can dry. Um, I actually bought this handy um, roasting pan so that I could use it when I... Um, spray them with the clear coat so I'm gonna put them in here while they dry oh my gosh it's so pretty all right let's try another one let's try the star not going to go in the box because right. I hope there's not too much glare from this giant thing but let me zoom out okay so look at these this is the first one that's the second one that's the third and that's the fourth look at this holy smokes it's lovely and this one is gorgeous too. I think I really went uh, I went too hard on the alcohol because these are not even dry yet. It's dripping off. So I think that's part of the problem. So if you're going to do this, I would say use less alcohol. See, look at that one. Ooh, it's like a puddle. Alright, I think these two are going to need another layer of Sharpie because they just kind of like 
they're kind of duds. These two, I'm loving. All right, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna let these dry for a while. Here's this one. I wasn't smart enough to buy a tin that all five would fit in. <laughs> so that's gonna be, maybe, I, no. Um, so I'm gonna let these sit for a little while and we're gonna come back in maybe like half an hour or so and see what they look like then. So I'll be back. Okay, it's been about, I'd say 30 or 40 minutes and I don't want to touch them because I know that even when they're dry that Sharpie is pretty fragile and can um, rub off. That's why you need the clear coat. Um, but I, I, I hope you can see that even just from 30 minutes ago they all look pretty different. Like look at this one. These were kind of really, these two were like sort of really washed out before. I'm trying to make sure there's not much glare. And now it's got some like really cool looking shapes in it and stuff that weren't there before. And the same with this one. Um, it's got, I'm trying to get that glare off. It's got, you know, some interesting texture, some little bubbles and stuff and some kind of cool waves over here that weren't there. And then here's that fifth one. Now this one, I think is really interesting because you can still see where it's just bare sharpie here in these corners and over here where alcohol didn't even you know get to it but I think it still looks pretty cool so my plan next these two I like as is I think I'm gonna leave those the way they are for now these two I think I'm gonna add some more sharpie and um, see you know a little bit more alcohol and see what we can do this one I think I'm just gonna try now that that first layer of alcohol is dry I think I'm just gonna try adding just alcohol to this one so I think I'm gonna start with this and drip a little bit of alcohol and kind of see what's gonna what else we can do with this because I'm not wild about some of these little areas so We'll see what happens. lot happier with these um, the way they are right now I truly believe that um, the game changer here like what I did with this one was I got all of the alcohol out of the dropper and then I just kind of like shot it on there so it just sort of splattered the little bits that were left and I think that made a dramatic difference in both of these um, I did it to this one as well this one is incredible they're all they all look so cool I'm, I'm really happy with them so I think I am going to go ahead and let these dry again um, and I feel like let me grab the other ones really quick so this was the first one this is that heart one um, I think this one looks great I mean, I think now they're all looking really, really nice. Um, this was the star. And 
I think I'm going to let them dry and I think they might be ready for a clear coat. I think the only thing I might do is I might go ahead and I'm going to take these and put them in the box. I think, gosh I got stuff all over my hands, I think I'm going to take these original two, the first two, and I'm going to try just uh, doing the kind of alcohol spritzy on these, just so that they all kind of look the same. So they all have that kind of finished, yeah, see look at that, oh gosh, that makes it look so cool. So now I think it'll give them all a little bit more of a coherent kind of look, like they're all part of a set. Um, but I think that's it. I'm going to let them dry. I will probably spray them with the clear coat off camera, only because I'm going to have to do it in my garage and it's going to be really stinky and I don't want to have to drag a tripod out there and you guys know what spraying clear coat on something looks like. So I will be back to show you kind of the finished, finished piece. It, the crazy thing about these is that I feel like every time I look at them they've changed because this alcohol just continues to react as they dry so it's it's like they're not even going to look like this when they're completely dry but it's kind of a it's a super fun project I hope you uh, decide to give it a try um, my best advice would be use less alcohol and you know do more with like moving it around and kind of blowing on it uh, I just blew, it out, blew on it with my mouth but I mean I, you could use a straw or something like that and I, I really liked the the technique of just kind of like you know getting the empty eyedropper and just spritzing the the last bits of alcohol out of it onto the top because I think that gives it a really neat effect so that's it. I'm going to let these dry and I'm going to spray them with clear coat and I will be back to show you the final results. All right, I am back. Um, I did go ahead and spray all of these with two coats of acrylic clear coat. You can see how shiny they are now. Um, but I just wanted to show you the finished product. Now one other thing I did do off camera is I just put a little bit of Sharpie in just random colors from the colors I used on the front um, around the sides and then I just sort of like took my finger with some alcohol on it and just rubbed it so it would sort of blend them together just so they'd look a little bit more finished. But that's it. So I put the clear coat on. Um, the last finishing touch I'm going to do is I've got these little just plastic um, stickers that I'll put one in each corner on the bottom. The only reason I haven't done it yet is because these aren't even dry yet. Um, that's why I'm not touching the surface because this acrylic coat is supposed to sit for 24 hours and I didn't want to wait. So um, this is it. Here's one of them. I don't know which is which anymore. I got them all mixed up. But I sure do love these. I think they turned out so great. I'm just really happy with every single one of them. They're all kind of cool and different in their own way. Look at this one. I love all these green and yellow swirls. They're so cool. So I'm just really, really happy with how they turned out. This was a super fun project. It was really easy, inexpensive. This would be a great project to do with kids. I think kids would have a really fun time with this. I don't remember if I showed this one or not, but if I didn't, here we go. Um, I love this kind of patterning in here where there's a lot of white and then those dark areas around. I don't know. I'm, I'm very happy with how these came out. I think they're super cool. So again, last thing I'll have to do is just put the feet on and that's it. This project is done. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching and I sincerely hope that you'll try this yourself. It was so much fun and I'm really, really happy with the results. So um, don't forget to watch all the way through to the end and you'll see me draw the next card for week five. Can you believe it's week five already? Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you soon. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed seeing me uh, work on my project for this week. I have my deck of Bob Ross cards here and I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle them and I will draw one out and we'll see what, we're, what we have in store for us for week five. All right. 
So, let's see. I think I will choose this one. Oh, that's another one with a lot of words. Let's put a few little highlights in here just to make them little rascals just sparkle in the sun. <laughs> oh, Bob, I just love you. And of course we have um, the signature Bob Ross Cabin in the Snow there. Um, so, and it is the Jack of Hearts. So that's the card for week five. I hope you'll consider joining me and um, sharing some artwork. I'd love to share your artwork next week in my video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Please like this video and subscribe if you want to see more.